so we had uh, an interesting experience and kind of an unenviable experience in trying to sell a house during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. We honestly didn't know if we would even be able to sell our home. And uh, Jen and I had interviewed Jason a year prior to our selling our home, just looking at different realtors and and um, and trying to just parse out who we wanted to work with. And it was pretty clear that Jason and his team were the folks we wanted to go with. And man, after this whole process um, of not only selling our home, but selling it incredibly successfully in the middle of this pandemic really justified the choice we made, I think, so. What we really appreciate about Jason, I think, is his um, very thoughtful, um, always was listening to us, um, put our concerns first over his. Uh, sometimes he had an idea and then we had an idea that was uh, not exactly his and he always deferred to us, um, even though he's an experienced realtor and is you know, he does this for a living and we don't. Sometimes we just have our gut feeling that something would be better and he was absolutely supportive of it. And he's just been... Um, Except when we were clearly wrong. And then in oh, a very kind way, that's true. he'd say, uh, actually, actually, that's not gonna work. That's yeah. true, that's <laughs> true. Um, but just thoughtful and um, listened to us and came over a few times and sat on our couch and. Uh, wanted to know where we were at mentally and um, emotionally. Um, what I really appreciate is when we um, got the multiple offers on our house, uh, he came over with the letters from each potential buyer and he read through them with us and I thought that was a wonderful touch and um, he even, uh, he prayed with us and I thought that was um, something very unique. You won't find many realtors that care that much. And I really, I really like that. Yeah, he took the time, you know, from soup to nuts with Jason's team. Every single one of uh, the team has been incredibly gracious to us and super sensitive to the fact that we have a, a child who's immunosensitive. And so during this uh, whole process, they came in with gloves and masks and just really amazing. So we never had to worry about that. And everyone's been incredibly professional. So. Uh, the photographer came in. He did a fabulous job with the photography. And then Melissa and, and Denise and Mike and everyone that we worked with was just, Alma was just buttoned up. And so we never felt like we were being lost in the shuffle. And um, we always felt like we were getting the kind of attention we needed as soon as we needed it. And that's been great, and this required a lot of out-of-the-box thinking, and Jason's incredibly careful, and we were impressed with his willingness to just pivot when we needed to, and uh, we moved our our whole sale up by a month because of this, and then we moved it up by a week, and then we moved it up by a few days, and every time the team was just Johnny on it and snapped to, and we were able to get it done, and uh, yeah, you mentioned multiple offers. Uh, we ended up getting 14 offers after a single open house. The house was on the market for uh, less than three days. And um, yeah, it was amazing. I mean, the highest offer was almost $100,000 over our asking price. So that was just, we were blown away. And the single open house we had had almost 100 people through. So we just felt very, very, uh, just beyond grateful for all the ways that the Burns team just took care of us and they understood this wasn't just a number for them. This wasn't just a way of making money. That they really understood that this is our home. We're not just selling a house. We're selling our home, and um, and the attention that that they took to let us know that they were perfectly aware of that dynamic uh, that just uh, meant a lot. And you won't see a lot of realtors necessarily doing that, and they did. So the only thing is that we think they should change their sign. Yeah, right. from better with Burns. To best with best burns. with burns, yeah. Better with burns is too aspirational. Yeah. Best with burns yeah, is that's absolutely. our only complaint about the burns team is we just don't really think their logo is is uh, correct. Fitting, but, yes. Yeah. But no, it was good, and, and and you know even the we had a ton of friends from all over the country who were able to log in and and see 
the, the digital. virtual tour, the 3D right. tour, you can measure with it, and then the YouTube video, and uh, and Mike and his team with the with the uh, drone going up. And, I mean, it was, they were amazed. Like we wanted it. to buy the house. We were wondering why we were selling it. Actually, uh, well, in fact, the people we finally chose. Um, for the house that's right uh, to purchase the house they had not seen the house literally right. they had only seen right. it online uh, and they instantly fell in love with it so we were so impressed with all of the work that went into uh, just um, marketing it was it was wonderful in fact I think if it's if I'm not mistaken three of our four highest offers had not actually been through the home no they only and seen this, it online and this just goes to show you that if this is the wave of the future for any reason, I mean, let's hope we don't have another pandemic for a hundred years, but um, the more and more that things go online, sometimes you would think, well, who on earth would, would bid close to a million dollars for actually not seeing something? And m most of our high bids had not actually seen the house. And that's a testimonial to just how thoroughly they covered the sale for those people who couldn't actually make it physically well, and house. I think Jason did an additional recording. Yeah, he the, did. The day we had our open house, it, right. was, it was raining. Uh, people were already afraid to um, gather in groups. And I remember Jason being very careful. He had a table set up at the end of our driveway. He made sure that people kept their distance. He only allowed two or three. Yeah, right. One party at a time. One party at a time. Uh, they had to wear masks, gloves. Um, he had signs posted throughout the house um, requesting that people not touch anything. I mean, he really took a lot of thought. And then people who were waiting outside to come in, because there was a line outside, he was actually, um, I think he thought ahead and did another recording so they could see it on their phone. He walked through the house and recorded himself um, walking through the house. So they had something to watch while they were waiting. So just all the little details were just yeah. I mean, I would have never thought of that. And the details for a sale like this, I mean, you're not just buying a car, right? You're buying the equivalent of 50 cars, 60 cars. I mean, this is a huge, the largest expense you'll likely make in your life. And so you want a team that you don't have to worry about. Um, and you want a team that is receptive to your ideas, but also just really brings a ton of experience to this whole uh, endeavor and that's exactly what you get with them and the Burns team and what's nice too is we're in the middle of escrow right now and we've heard stories of, of, of realtors being super receptive and totally able to work with up until escrow and then you feel like you're kind of left in the dark because they're busy trying to make other sales and we have uh, every step of the way almost on a daily basis there will be an email update and questions about anything you need to know just ask and whether we're texting or emailing, we get a response within an hour at the most. So I, I, I honestly, I was joking to Jason, I said, you know, if we have our, uh, you know, way about marketing their services, they're gonna have the opposite problem of having too much business because I don't understand why anyone would choose any realtor but uh, Jason and Laura uh, and their team. And you simply cannot ask for, a, this was the, this was the Maserati of, of, uh, of realtors. realtors. Yeah, there's, we, we wouldn't have changed a single thing. And that's a, that's a big deal to say. And we're not being paid to, to say this, literally. We, no. we jumped at the chance of being able to um, uh, do this because we wanted to just thank Jason and his team. They more than earned their commission uh, for this sale. And we are just incredibly grateful. So yeah, it's been a really great experience.